heart is racing. It's time to go back to the gym. Hey guys! So today I am doing a laundry chat. That didn't work like I wanted to. Take two. Hey guys! So today I am doing a laundry chat video where I multitask being an adult and filming all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So I did get this idea from Rach Loves and she does this. I think it's on her Rach Loves Life channel. Um, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. But that is like her um, kind of more like not makeup stuff related channel. And yeah, so I thought why not because I need to do laundry and I need to film. So I stopped slacking. So I thought I would do this. Thankfully this little laundry does not have the skivvies in it. Uh, so you guys won't be seeing anything. I had asked you guys on Twitter like some things that you just wanted me to kind of talk about. Um, a lot of it was just kind of like um, the norm. Like you guys are really interested in what's gotten me interested in makeup and what got me started. Um, a lot of you guys are interested in my childhood um, and just I think just wanting to get to know me better. So maybe I'll make this into a little series where you know I reach out ask what you guys want to hear me talk about and then I talk about it on that week's episode or that month's episode or something like that I don't want to do it every week but you know what I mean kind of like that so every once in a while sort of thing um yeah so I am just going to fold this laundry and chat at the same time. Yes, my makeup looks very intense for doing uh, laundry, but I did film my BoxyCharm video, so I'm not sure which one will be up first. Um, I will uh, tag it in the video. Tag it. <laughs> I will put it in the video up in the screen right here um, if it's uploaded. So what got me into makeup? I've done videos on this before, um, and I will link those past videos as well. And I have like a tips and tricks video about starting your own channel if that's something that you're interested in too. And I will put that in the description box down below. Um, but what mainly got me started into makeup? So when I was in high school, I think, I mean kind of looking back, I really enjoyed doing my makeup. Um, more so like eyeshadow. I was really into eyeshadow and kind of honestly what you're seeing on my eyes right now is very similar to what I would do um not more it's kind of like I have a halo eye on right now and I didn't I didn't I did not have those skills but um you know, like dark and smoky was really like my status quo when it came to doing my makeup for high school I was in cheerleading so that of course required makeup and glitter and all of that fun stuff so I really liked it when I was in high school and then um, when I got into college I kind of really like just got out of it um, I just didn't really do my makeup that much I was really into just doing like a winged liner there for a while and then I just I just didn't really care though it was just more like simplicity and what was fastest for me to get ready I am honest I'm being honest when I say this I did not own a foundation until like maybe I think the first ever foundation that I bought was right around the time there's something in my eye but right around the time that I started my channel like I did not use foundation at all um I did have concealer but I would use that for more so for spot treatment if I had any breakouts or anything like that um but you know like mascara and eyeshadow was really my go-to but then I got out of it and then I just like out of the blue um, wanted to try more products I just didn't have the means um, or the money to buy said products so I became obsessed with winning makeup and um, I just really wanted to win stuff <laughs> and I would enter in a lot of giveaways hoping to get there it is I found it hoping to win um, even just like something to grow my collection because I just wanted so, excuse me, much, but couldn't afford to buy everything that I wanted. So when you enter giveaways, you usually 
are in the YouTube world. That's what really started it for me, and uh, I had a roommate that would enter giveaways, um, and she won a couple. We entered the same exact giveaway. At this point, we weren't talking. Um, <laughs> That's a whole other story. That might, that's just a story time, guys. <laughs> and, um, yeah, she ended up winning the giveaway and I didn't. And I was so pissed. Like, oh, it just made me so sad and mad because I wanted it bad. And it was so crazy that it was in the same household but not coming to me. Anyways, I digress. So when you enter, you're entering. Usually you have to subscribe to people's YouTube channels. And I'm sure all of you know, as well as I do, now once you go down that rabbit hole of YouTube, it's kind of hard to resurface. <laughs> so in doing that, I found a lot of my favorite YouTubers as well, and um, over the course of probably like a month, I would say, my desire um, or obsession with just makeup videos grew. Like I found Kathleen Lights, and I swear. I, wa I have watched all of her videos, I think. Like, every single one of her videos, I'm pretty sure I've watched. And, um, I found Laura Lee, and I went down that rabbit hole. I watched a lot of her videos. Um, there was one, uh, Casey. She doesn't make videos anymore, but I watched every single one of her videos. Um, and I just, like, my love and my desire for, um doing that just kind of really grew and just kind of took off and wow doing these while folding laundry makes it so much faster yeah I just really just developed a love for it or I guess like a love again for it after that and that's where my desire to start a channel grew too so it wasn't like I was a child and loved makeup ever since I was a kid and was always obsessed. I don't really remember that. I mean, that's how it was in my adult life. Like, that's just how it happened in my adult life. That's just pretty much where my love of makeup came into. And then, um, you guys have asked me about college. And yes, I was in college. I was in college for a semester. I went to, um, the Ohio State University in Columbus, like the main campus. Um, I distinctly remember when I took my, um, what is it to get into, that's no, it's not the SAT, it's the ACT. Um, I took my ACT and I think I got, I think I got a 23 and then a 24. I took it twice and I was like, I'm not taking the third time just to get one extra point, you know? <laughs> but I did get a 24 and I distinctly remember my guidance counselors telling me, oh good luck getting to OSU with that ACT and I was like watch and then they also said oh you didn't take an art class oh good luck getting to OSU without taking an art class watch and bet your butt I got into uh, OSU with a 24 and without taking an art class which why would I need to take an art class to get into college don't even get me started <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I did go, I went for a semester, I was going to go for nursing, I couldn't declare that as my major just because you could only declare a major as a freshman if you had a 25 or higher, um, so I didn't declare it or anything, but I was taking the same prereqs as everybody else that was still in that, um, they wanted that degree, um, so I made some good friends while I was there and you know I, we still follow each other on Instagram and occasionally I'll talk to one of them um, but yeah I went for a semester I took biology I took a psychology and a chemistry class and then we had to take a um, like a freshman class as well just to make sure you're acquainted and everything. Classes also require like a lab, like science requires a lab so I had a lab for biology and I had a lab for chemistry so I was going to school five days a week. Um, I lived an hour away so I was commuting five days a week and um, for one of them I had like a class in the morning and then a class literally like ten hours after that and I didn't want to drive home and then have to drive back there so I got a part-time job on campus, which ironically wasn't on the day that I had that widespread of a time. Um, but yeah, I worked two days a week at one of the libraries and it was seriously like you were able to like do your homework or everything like that as long as you made sure that the printers were running fine. Like I would have to stock paper or change the ink or 
just kind of look at it to see if it was jammed and that's seriously all that I did. Commuting was hard and I didn't, I mean I went a semester and I couldn't handle commuting anymore and it was just too much. I was working, including that part-time job, like three jobs. I was working um, at Subway, I was working at the Mountain, which is a ski resort here, and then I was working at the library, you know, driving. Um, two hours every day, which is 10 hours a week, and go to school full time, and it was just all too much, you know. I lived with my sister, so, you know, I had bills to pay and everything like that. And as a 18-year-old, you know, going to college and just graduating high school, that was tough. So, that's where I decided to go ahead and drop out of college. I think that if I had lived on campus, my life would be a lot different right now. I think that I would be a nurse. I think that, I mean, by now, maybe I wouldn't be a nurse yet, but I, you know, I would be on that track. I probably would not be in the place that I am today. I maybe wouldn't even be doing videos, you know, who knows. Once I did drop out, I did still pursue a nursing career. I just wanted to do it a different way. So what I wanted to do was get it um, kind of like the way where you go by steps and with those steps you get college funding and that's pretty much what I was going after. So I got my STNA which is like a certified some, I don't know what it is anymore, like nurse's aid. It's a nurse's aid. On my last day I passed, I got my STNA, but on my last day of clinicals, because I make you do two days of clinicals, I, we, we, your clinicals are in a nursing home, most STNAs work in a nursing home. I had to assist somebody use the restroom and in that moment I realized that I was not going to make it as an STNA. Like I, it just wouldn't make me happy and I, my whole philosophy is do what makes you happy. So I wasn't about to, you know, be miserable in what I was doing every day. So that is when I decided that I wasn't going to do that anymore and I had no clue what I was going to do with my life. And then I worked for Subway for a while and then I uh, went full time at the company that I still work for now and I'm now a manager with that company and um, you know, I have a career now. And never did I know or even think that I wanted a career in business or that I liked business. Um, I wanted to be a businesswoman, but I freaking love it, so <laughs> it's great. But I guess my advice, um, I mean, it's not like I am a licensed person. Uh, take it with what you will. This is just based off of my life experiences. I wish that I had a degree. However, you don't always have to have a degree. And I say that because experience speaks volumes as well so if you look at jobs if you're of that age where you're looking at you know adult job it's a lot of must have this degree and or must have this many years of experience it's crazy because there's a lot of people that spend four plus years in college to get a degree and then they can't find jobs because you know the employer is looking for somebody that has experience but how are you supposed to have a experience if you just graduated with a degree so you know what I mean do what feels right to you don't rush it um, don't feel pressured to go to school just because that's what society is saying that you have to do that's what your parents are saying that's what your families are saying like go for what feels right for you you know if you have someone that's able to help you out you know and you decide to use that don't abuse it don't think that it's just free money so I don't have to care if I pass or don't pass no, freaking pass because it's somebody else's money. <laughs> if you aren't ready to go to college, do not push it because you will not invest your time. You will not invest yourself. You will not want to learn what they're trying to teach you. And I mean, that's just the way that humans are. Um, I will say if you're going to go to college, make sure that the degree that you're going to go for actually has an outcome. There are a lot of people I know that got specific degrees. I think um, business management being one of them and had a very hard time finding a job. So make sure that the expectancy for the demand for that job is out there and that people are going to want to hire people for that job. Get your hands in with somebody in a company that's going to take care of you and has your best interest at hand. So I've, you know, been done doing laundry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got that done really quick. Uh, yeah, I need to do this more often because I hate doing laundry. That is everything for this first episode of 
laundry chat. Thank you, Rach Loves Life, for this idea. If you liked it and you want to see more, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so you will be notified every single time that I post. Um, make sure that you enter my giveaway that's going on right now. It is a huge giveaway. It's freaking huge. That's what she said. And follow me on all of my social medias. The links are down below and they are on the screen right now. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Time to put the clothes in the laundry basket. Time to put the clothes in. Oh the laundry basket. Two things for me. Zvrus were for him.